Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Naked Snake. So uh, today I'm going to talk about um, a movie. So let me give you a spoiler alert already. So if you don't want to watch it, uh, you can turn it off right here because it's going to be a bit of a spoiler alert for uh, the solo movie. So uh, give you a second to uh, make that decision. All right. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like to, uh, you know, uh, point out that uh, in the that I was watching in YouTube and I was watching you know some of these uh, these uh, YouTube channels that talk about you know news like little news stuff about entertainment and whatnot right and um, you know no offense you know shout out to Nerdist News I was watching that particular uh, YouTube channel and uh, earlier they had they had showed a they had talked about well they talked about the solo uh, movie today. And uh, they were talking about how Darth Maul will be uh, showing up in the movie. So the issue is that, uh, you know, uh, Darth Maul survived the death, the fight between Obi-Wan Kenobi back in, the, you know, back in uh, episode, one, episode one, right? The Phantom Menace. So, uh, you know, and then they were talking about how he survived. So they said after he cut him in half and he falls down the power core... He ends up um, basically uh, growing new limbs on, you know, a new lower half, you know, like a spider lower half. So I don't know how that happens. You know what I mean? Uh, and what 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 kind of kind of made me start thinking was that in episode two, I believe. Uh, this is when Skywalker's older already, like like he's already kind of like a young man and whatnot. And uh, he's talking to Palpatine. Palpatine's already getting him over to the dark side, right? And Palpatine tells him about uh, about a powerful Sith, you know, who was cheating death and whatnot, right? So it made me think, you know, when when he was talking like that, that, that during that time, everybody thought it was going to be, you know, the Snook character, um, you know, uh, the Sith Lord Snook or, or, or whatever his name is. And, and yeah, so, you know, everybody thought, oh, you know, Snook was, Snook is this, this guy who could cheat death and, and this and that, right? And so, as, as you listen to him talk about it, and it kind of makes sense how, how, uh, ultimately, you know, um, I think Palpatine said that, uh, he ended up dying anyway, and, and everybody says the way, the, the way the Sith Lord died was that Palpatine killed him, right? And so, I start kept thinking and thinking and thinking. Well, you know what? Uh, you know, Darth Maul looks like he's having that same kind of story going on. You know what I mean? Think about it. He gets cut in half. He falls down. A, he falls down a thing. He's still alive. Still cheats death. Right. And he's alive and 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 he's doing all these things. But ultimately, he's gonna die anyway. But he cheated death. The fact that. This kind of confirms that that the Sith do have the power to cheat death, but no one, but but no one can understand. <laughs> Excuse me, but I don't understand how because see, I think that's where Palpatine was using to to lure uh, Skywalker in more was that life story of Darth Maul. He wasn't talking about Snook; he was talking about Darth Maul. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm thinking. That's the theory that I'm thinking. I'm thinking he wasn't talking about Snook. He was he was just he was just rearranging the words and putting it so that it sounded like, you know, he was a great Sith Lord and whatnot, but he was just a Sith who had this enormous anger and hatred in him that was allowing him to cheat death. And so Palpatine was basically just uh, you know, kind of just re you know, kind of retelling it differently. Because ultimately, Palpatine almost gets him killed. You know what I mean? And basically, Palpatine does get him killed because I'm I'm guessing that Palpatine somehow finds a way to you know, uh, get all these you know to get the Jedi on top of his you know on top of on top of his you know top of his crew, because as they said like they said in the cartoon because in the cartoon they talk about it also they talk about how he fell down the hole had the spider legs goes to his mother his mother gives him some robotic legs. That and and whatnot, but the miracle is that I mean the, the the power of the Sith shows that the power of the Sith is power is strong enough to cheat death, you know. And then so he gets those robot legs, and then he starts joining all these crews, puts them together and whatnot, 
but then he ultimately still dies by the hand of the Jedi. And, you know, and the only reason why the Jedi are probably even able to find him was because, obviously, Palpatine may have led them to him, you know. But also, you know, you know how Star Wars is. Star Wars still puts those bits of, those fragments of possibilities, you know, out of, you know, out of sight. So you can't really tell, you know what I mean? But that's my theory. And so this is Mr. Naked Snake. You tell me what you guys think. And, uh, you know, leave the comments. And again, you know, shout outs to uh, Nerdist News. Thanks for the information. If you really want to see that, Nerdist News has two bits. They have the one that was uh, about the solo movie, and they have the other one where they're having theories about Snook's character and how he came to be and whatnot. Uh, both of them are in there. If you go back into the Jedi cartoons that are on uh, Netflix, uh, it's one of the places you can probably find them. Uh, you can go back there and, and uh, watch all those cartoons and see how uh, Darth Maul comes back to life or survives death. And then you could also... Uh, go to the episodes one and two. Uh, I believe it's two where he's talking to uh, uh, Skywalker inside that ship. You know, inside. I guess they're making their transferring. So they're going somewhere, but I forgot where. And he tells them the story. So if you go there and you try to put all that information together, it looks like it kind of fits. To me, it looks like it kind of does. You tell me what you guys think. You know, uh, leave it in the comments. And uh, thanks for listening to me. Uh, now I'm gonna get on with this gameplay. All right, so uh, here we go with the M41 Bulldog, a U.S. A US uh, a U.S. special vehicle. Let's hope for the best here because I want to smash some people. I'm going to kick back with, uh, with this guy from the MEX clan. I guess he's a Mexican, but who knows.
Oh, what a shot. <laughs> Good. All right. Well, thank you for watching the video. Mr. Mega Snake out.